for our final video, this next rider, Cam Zink, has starred in nearly every big budget MTB film that's ever been made. You know he's gonna pull out all the stops for this next piece right here. I cannot wait to see what he has up his sleeve with his filmer, Dustin Lindgren. Tyler, I'm expecting my jaw to hit the floor. Cam Zink has always been the gnarliest dude. I grew up watching Cam ride Rampage and all the major movies and he is always the guy that just goes the biggest. Zink is an absolute animal. I competed with this guy for over 10 years and he always points out the biggest feature on the course, the beginning of practice, and knows he's going to send something massive on it. So I've had a 17 plus year career and I've been very fortunate to accomplish every goal I've ever had win every contest I've ever strived for, except for X Games, this is it. I'm very, very pumped to be a part of it. Super proud to be flying the flag for mountain biking and, and being able to still push the sport. I used to love filming a video part each year and then seeing it premiered uh, was one of the highlights of my life, honestly. So to have an X Games edit we can devote all our energy to is, is like the missing piece of the puzzle and something that I, I hope that I can do for the next few years. This summer, Cam and I had been working on a project together and by, right when we were wrapping that up, he got the call to be a part of this real mountain bike. We have a lot of plans and there's a lot of big stuff and he's put a lot of effort into and a lot of courage into to making all this happen. Cam is one of those guys, you know, maintained a friendship over the 13 years that we've been doing this together and I, I consider him one of my best friends and someone that goes well beyond just us working together in the field and it, it's the comfortability that you gain from being around each other and the trust factor and the dependability of having someone that is there for you on all levels. Total honor. Anytime I get to work with Cam, I'm gonna say yes. He's one of my favorite athletes of all time to be around. First thing, go out to Utah. That's where I wanna be. That's my favorite place to ride. It's where you can make magic happen. You can go as big as you want, have as much freedom as you want to build whatever it is that's on your mind. Going for a gold medal, and putting your heart into it and having the freedom to build what you want just like you can a Rampage. Start at A, end at B, do whatever you want in the middle. It's kind of how we, we film this video part. There's a lot of like personal victories with this. Cash roll to pull my shoulder out, three drop that I 450 years ago. And then when Sorgi beat me, he flipped the step down next to it and then I flip canned it, one upped him. Yeah. Filming this piece for the X Games has been Kind of like going down a memory lane a little bit. We were out at the old Rampage site a little bit. Everything that we were doing was a major stunt. And you knew that there was no doing it three, four, five times until we get the shot. We knew Cam's shot list was thick. It was gonna come down to when he wanted to do it and how he felt at that moment, how his body felt, how his mental game was going that day. And we kind of left it up to him. When he was ready, we made sure we were ready. That's just the way it goes with riding. You have so many factors. You want good light and you want certain things to line up with that and angles. And then as a rider, you want the angle that shows it to be the biggest. It might not be the most aesthetic. I don't know, it still feels like I'm pulling hard either. Enough time. The people that you work with are most important people that know how to keep you in some good momentum and to keep your mind right. I think the highlights of this were all the personal victories, especially in Utah and, and checking a couple of those boxes of things that I've had some history with and th things that have been on my mind for a long time. I don't ride street much anymore, but Kristen Regal hooked us up with the Anderson roof drop. That was a big mental struggle to wrap my head around that, but couldn't think of a better opening clip. There's a lifetime of injuries and struggles and work that you put into this, and this is essentially 90 seconds that I've worked for my whole life. And it's my passion, it's, it's who I am. I've been fortunate to be able to achieve every goal that I've set for myself in mountain biking, except for X Games, this is it. This is all, all I need and all I want, and we put everything into this video part. Uh, so this is the final box to check. Hopefully we get a medal out of this. I'm Cameron Zink, and this is my real mountain bike video part. You rolling. Yeah!
that's all good. Plenty of big moves that we've come to know and love from a rider like Cam Zink. Let's send it over to our judges and see what they have to say. I think the most technical move Zink did was landing that cash roll. Those are really cool to see any time of the day. To see it done on a downhill bike is unreal. One of the things I did notice that in a lot of his big moves, you could either see a drone flying through the shot, there's a cameraman walking around, there was a lot of slightly distracting elements. Although he is doing the burliest stuff, he's doing a 360 or a backflip. In the innovation category, I don't know how innovative Zink is, but he blows the gnarliness doors right off of your caboose. Well, this was a big job for our judges to figure out who to give away these three medals to for our first installment of Real Mountain Bike, but they have their scores tallied and it's time to give them away. In third place, getting the bronze medal, we had Cam Zink and Dustin Lindgren. You earned this, dog. Get the <laughs> out of here, dude. Thanks, X Games, for the opportunity. Check this out. 